Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Sir David the Bard coming out of uh, Kangaroo City down here in Australia. Uh, I was on the moon, <laughs> but when I visited with the man on the moon, he sent my ass out of there too. <laughs> said, go to Australia. We don't watch up here. And yes, those of you that wanted to know, did I pass um, all of the uh, prophecy um, uh, things about Quakers on the on the moon and tall men and whatever? Uh, Joseph Smith was right. They were there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wanted to make a couple of comments on comments. Um, the person from uh, Santa Paula, California, um, they're just over the hill from Ojai, where I was raised. And Santa Paula is about 80% um, Hispanic. And uh, it's, a, it's a good town. It's a nice little town. And uh, he or she offered uh, to ghostwrite me <laughs> now. I don't know what a ghostwrite is. Is that like a Danite that's dead? And they come and get you? I don't know. Ghostwrite, the stories of the bard. I'd love that, you know. I really would love to uh, have somebody um, uh, put it in, in a book. Because I know the Mormon Church is going to buy YouTube. And my ass is gone. It never existed. It never existed. I'm like Helen Mark Kimball, the 14-year-old, who was now 19 years old, according to the Mormon Church, uh, when she married Joseph Smith. You know, they've argued for years and years. Oh, girls, uh, in those days, <laughs> they got married at 14. Well, the church found out that people didn't believe that anymore, so they changed their birthday uh, to uh, 19. Um, there was another comment. You know, when when the screen comes on, <laughs> my mind goes off um, oh I'm in black today so those of you that um, <laughs> I was gonna wear my hat you know it does look a little better if you have just a f well not this face but a face <laughs> anyway there was another comment um, Santa Paula uh, oh god I've been through that town a million times in fact when I go to California I go over the mountain uh, to Ojai um, through Santa Paula um, I can't remember the other comment. I'm sorry, I can't remember. But anyway, anyway, um, Allison came home from her Mormon experience and said, "Dad, there was no church. It was just putting notebooks together." And I said, "Well, that's fine as long as it's an activity. Um, you're welcome to go over to the Mormons or the Catholics or the Baptists, whoever. But in this state." Uh, down here in Australia. Oh, I remember what it was. But somebody wanted to know what the temperature down here was Celsius. Now, I'm used to Fahrenheit. I'm not used to Celsius. So I went out and I asked a couple of kangaroos and they were hopping around sweating. And I said, well, what is it Celsius here? And they said, 87. I said, okay, I'll tell the American people. It's 87 Celsius here in Australia. Hotter than hell, I think. So anyway, um, I do want to thank you for your support. And, uh, you know, I told you this is my counseling. Um, I feel great in life these days because you're there. And you're willing to listen to my shit. No psychiatrist was willing to listen. The social workers, you know, they got phone ID. They won't pick up. And uh, the Mormon church, they go, we don't want to hear in social services, uh, LDS social services, the shit you want to say. Well, there's, there's a half a million of you that uh, did want to hear what I say. And uh, you don't know how um, comforting that is. I've spent my whole damn life and nobody wants to hear me. They think I'm a loser. Now, I am, but they don't have to tell me that. So anyway, um, uh, oh, I was going to say to Anna too. Now, now, <laughs> Allison's bear, I'm jumping because I haven't taken my meds. Allison's bear, um, we have decided because of the pressure you have put on our family that the bear will not ride <laughs> any more ceiling fans. <laughs> Allison said, you should listen to her, Dad. And I go, okay, well, I'll listen to her. So um, now <laughs> I'm thinking of letting the bear fly off the balcony. <laughs> Putting little wings on it seen how far go like a glider 
But anyway, Anna, um, the uh, the baby says I should listen to you. And um, anyway, what the hell was I talking about? Well, my my gratefulness for you, and for being there. And I suggest I suggest to any of you that um, have uh, counseling needs. God, make a YouTube show. Doesn't matter if people look at it. It doesn't matter. You look at it. You remember what's on it, and you got it out. You got it out of your brain and your heart, and and um, you start to feel better. I feel great. I feel great that some of you actually will listen to me because I couldn't find anybody on the face of the earth, including my children, that would listen to me. That would listen to me. I think my personality is so far out and over the boundaries that most normal human beings go, good lord, this guy belongs in a mental institution. And there's so many of you that have been kind to me. You know, the Mormons haven't, the Mormons. I wish you were dead. You're a liar. I hope your head falls off. <laughs> the Mormons have not. But you know what? When the Mormons attack me after I've told you the truth, uh, I'm thinking of my um, most popular uh, video is uh, being um, a temple worker in Los Angeles and revealing the entire temple ceremony with its signs, tokens, and symbols, etc. And when the Mormons write and say that I'm lying, it makes me feel good because it validates the kind of people they are. I know it's true. I spent, you know, years going through the temple and over a year as a social worker. I know health in the navel, marrow in the bones, strength in the loins and in the sinews, power in the priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. I know that shit. When they write and say, oh, he's not telling the truth, <laughs> it validates uh, many of who they are and, um, what uh, what standards they have. And so anyway, um, I do want to thank you. I do appreciate you. And you're here every day, every morning, every night. And uh, YouTube, I'm thankful for YouTube. <laughs> here comes my testimony. I know YouTube was invented by Joseph Smith. I know there's some some sites on here. <laughs> never mind, never mind, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, those of you that do make comments, I do read them, and uh, I do appreciate them. And uh, when somebody said they were from Santa Paula, I just really got uh, homesick. Homesick, because uh, it makes me sick to think of Santa Paula. <laughs> no, no. Now, I told you. I told you this, okay? Now, she's right now, she's got to be my age, 65, 66. But um, my old girlfriend, now let me be, <laughs> because... <laughs> I don't want to be sued anymore. <laughs> Terry. Terry was the bishop's wife years ago there in Santa Paula. And she was my girlfriend just before I uh, went off to, um, to BYU and uh, got married. But anyway, um, Speckle Park. You mentioned Speckle Park. And yeah, I'm in the Speckle Park. <laughs> You got to go around the banjos and the Mexican guitars and and, and the kegs of beer and the dancing Mexicans uh, to be able to get in there. And then there's no table to sit at. Uh, there's only rocks. And yes, I do remember the sulfur smell coming down out of the mountain there. And um, I had a very good friend's wife um, uh, almost killed on Sulfur Mountain Road there. Uh, turned over in a car, and back in those days, the um, the uh, moon roof was not the kind of glass it is today, and it just cut her all to pieces. But anyway, those are those are stories that stay in my head. Thank you again for uh, tuning in. Thank you again for um, not being real mean to me. If the Mormons are mean, I expect that of the Mormons, but normal people, when you write in, and uh, some of you are just funny as hell, you're funnier than I am, that's for sure, uh, if any of you want to see humor, uh, go look at my comments, go look at my comments, now, um, I try very hard to keep um, too much political um, comments, uh, I, I delete only my YouTube that comes in, um, uh, the death threats, I never 
erase those. Those are the Mormons. <laughs> they wouldn't know how to kill you <laughs> if you gave them, you know, an AK-47. They'd shoot themselves in the foot. So anyway, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. I feel good, feel real, real good down here in Australia. I might come up to uh, Utah and visit up there, but I'm going to have to put on a disguise. I told you only one person has recognized me off of the YouTube, and they didn't want my signature or autograph. They go, no, we don't need it. I, okay, and no one else needs it either. So anyway, um, if if anyone wants to really be a ghost writer. Um, you know, I'll, I'll bring you to uh, Australia. I've got an extra um, uh, grandma's quarters here in the house, and uh, you can sit and uh, work, and and uh, I'll pay for your food and your housing and your transportation and everything from the airport. But I, I'd like to have these videos written down so the Mormon Church can't buy YouTube and just erase it all. I, I just really would like to write. I did do an introduction to a book. Uh, the other day but you know I don't know what it is when I talk there's things that come to my head and the reason I laugh is I think they're funny I don't I don't laugh because I'm nervous or laugh because uh, I'm telling you where to laugh when when I think of uh, black panties uh, with an angel's face on them. <laughs> the old song was it wasn't Abba. Who was that? Uh, anyway, it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. And so, uh, when I was a Mormon, uh, you're not allowed to laugh. No uh, light mindedness or loud laughter. Well, that's what life is. It's light mindedness and loud laughter. Uh, but the Mormon Church, guilt, guilt, guilt. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I just want you to know I do appreciate you and for more than 513,000 people hitting my uh, YouTube uh, I'm really looking forward to a million and I might live long enough to talk to the entire Mormon church it's only four million that are anywhere near active in the, in the Mormon church in fact I saw um, yesterday a chart that shows yes um, in Utah, there's um, more people that go to church uh, every weekend. But there's another section under that that the non-members, the members of the church go to, to church more often than uh, regular people. The first category. The second category, uh-uh. Regular people go to church more than the Mormons, and the third category was almost non-existent. It was all non-members and people of other religions. So, you know, I don't know if you want to sit there for three hours and feed Cheerios to a kid that that knows that they got you by the short hairs. If they jump up and down and scream and throw stuff, uh, you got to go out in the foyer. And I always grab that kid because I wanted to be in the foyer. I didn't want to be in that stupid, stupid meeting. And then when I'm in the foyer, kind of relaxing, and the kid is running around, some asshole would come in and turn on the speakers, and now I have to hear this shit in the foyer. <laughs> And I once went into the woman's bathroom. I, I I don't know why I was in there. Maybe it was dementia. I don't know. But, you know, they have a speaker in there, too. So, you know, if you're going poo-poo, you can. that's appropriate to be listening to the prophets while you're going poo-poo. It, it saves a lot of time running in there. So, anyway, um, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you.